Hello people, on this first video I'm gonna show you how to pollinate petunia. So let's go straight to the point and what you need is of course some petunia flowers and I recommend you to have some tweezers. This is the best tool to do this. So we need first to identify the victim. This is my victim and we need to identify two main parts of a petunia flower. So first is the stigma and second are the anthers. So what we're gonna do is to take the pollen from the anthers and put it on the stigma of the victim we want to pollinate. So here's another shot of another flower, how they look like. And let's proceed with that. So I grab the tweezers and pull off the anthers of a flower and those anthers have the pollen and that pollen will go on the stigma of my victim to get her pregnant and get some seeds out of it. So I grab one anther that contains pollen and I'm gonna rub that pollen on the stigma of my victim. I'm gonna rub it once, rub it twice and the more you rub it the more pollen gets there and the more seeds you will get out of that petunia. So here I did it many times and this is the final result of this. After that I put a label to identify that petunia and a few days later the petunia flower is drying up, it dried up and until it fell off and it looked like this, it looks like a cone and that cone contains seeds, that means that the pollination process has been successful. This is another one. But if you go and pull off a petunia flower that hasn't been pollinated, it will look like this. It has no cone, it has no seeds, there has been no pollination here. After that, it will dry up the cone containing the seeds and from that cone you simply get your seeds. There are all the seeds you want to reproduce and spread petunia around the world, around your house, around your garden, and that's all you need to do to get some petunia seeds and pollinate them. So, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.